Okay. Welcome in guys, uh, we're playing Dev Life, a uh, game was given to us by the developers, uh, huge thanks to, uh, to the devs for letting me review the game and give you guys a really positive and honest uh, like opinion on the game, uh, played the game before, uh, I had well, played it before uh, doing the stream today, and uh, yeah, you should be very happy with the game, the results of it. <coughs> yeah, highly recommend it. Hey, Kim, she's there. Oh, was Discord actually one of the things that I did not set up again? Yes, yes it was. There we go. I should now be able to hear you. There we go. My my dumb ass thought, oh no, nothing's working. I've broken my PC. No, I just turned my headset down. To the point that I could not hear anything. Come on. Wait for the game to boot up, it wouldn't. So, uh, Roman Studios, uh, of course, thank you guys for giving me a key. And, uh, actually, very honest opinion from the first time I played it was very fun. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the coughing, I've come down with a cold, less of a snot nose, more of a bad cough again. So that is fun, so that's why there's no webcam today. Well, there won't be a webcam until, uh, well, I think we fully move over. The Twitch on the 15th? No, YouTube on the 15th. That's going to be a, a fun move for myself. And, uh, yeah. Of course, I need to make sure that the stream got shared on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, and in the Discord. I am, um, of course, games taking a while to load up. <coughs> Come on, game. Like, we're having so many issues trying to get this to boot up now, but this is just my PC having issues. How much memory do you need? It's like, you're like about 2 gig. Uh, you're not really doing anything right now, so... I 
makes a little bit of noise. Uh, this PC is really annoying me now. How big is the game? That right, game just crashed again. I'm gonna go in here. Go to uh, Dev Life. Dev Life, uninstall. And we're gonna reinstall it. And we're gonna dump it on the C drive. Uh, hopefully this allows us to actually play the game. Um, of course this is not edited or anything because it's a live stream so I like to do my reviews streamed with a review so you know it's an honest opinion and not just me reading off a script or editing parts together. And honestly you can see and know exactly like what bits I'm not happy with and what bits I am. But, of course this isn't the game's fault, this is just my PC being a, uh, a pile of trash. So, it shouldn't have any issues now because it's running on the SSD. Well, the M.2. So it should just boot up fast and go straight into the game. Good. That, that, that's the word, should. If it doesn't boot up, then I'm going to have to just do a video review and not edit it. Now you're doing something. Um... There we, are, there we go. Took some time. And now we've got it. Let me screen share dev life to Jacob's in Discord. Uh, I need to go into here. I don't need to go into sound settings. And set the game to go through my actual <coughs> through an actual uh, audio source that I've got here, and that is this one. Oh, box input. Did I get the audio mixed up? It should be. Uh, <coughs> it should be coming through a separate track, but it looks like it's a bit too low. It doesn't know what's what. I don't know what I've searched for. Oh, I searched for sound on Edge. I instantly heard the, the difference in audio. There we go.
There we go. You can now hear it. Okay. Uh, let's set a key to high. Actually, everything to ultra. I don't know why you're running at 4K. And resync. And uh, let's hit the play button. YouTube is receiving enough video. Push stream. So there's, there's my one, so I'm just going to start it again. <coughs> so, uh, let's random generate names. Let's uh, go red hair. So, uh, yeah, let's go pink shirt, black trousers, white shoes. More ginger, so I'm gonna just wear the yeah. Oh, I didn't know I can scroll. <coughs> All right, so uh. least three so I'm gonna go shy that gives me five I'm gonna do honest trusting and then we're gonna go full of energy Go. Uh, if you quickly get carried away in your emotions and easily uh, fall into rage, nope. Not putting you always uh, rarely on your own choice, and very rarely change your mind about a topic. Yep. I'm gonna remove honest, go up and add hard worker, and then we accept. Okay, we're gonna go down to. Oh, oh I didn't know. Okay, this this is new to me. I didn't see these on tabs. Uh, let's go down. Uh, game development. What's this? This is 2D graphics AI. 2D graphics. Yeah, oh, I'm going to hit this. We're going down the game, the game development tree. <laughs> uh, even though your characters already have three skills that you choose during the character creation, uh, they cannot be used in project. Uh, to use this, you may, you must first learn them. Uh, these are free. <laughs> uh, ways to do that in the game. Uh, buying courses, course creating and upgrading your skill points 
think this tutorial will show you the first few options for allowing you to see arrows visible on the screen. So, the gun that cost me. This one, burn, that one. Speed up. Oh. Learning new skills and evolving your character is one of the most important things in dev life. New skills allow you to get more lucrative commissions and increase your stats, thus speeding up your work on different components. Remember that after buying new skills, you should learn them to at least first level. This will allow you to use them in projects and commit the increase to your stats. You can also speed up this process by spending your character's skill points on an instant upgrade to the next level in the skill trees. This is the project creator. Here you'll find all the options you need to create projects which will allow you to make money and learn skills. In the top left corner of the window, you will find basic information about your project, such as its name and type. You won't be able to create commercial projects until you find your first commissions. To create your own projects, you must first have a company. <coughs> to the right of the panel with information about the project, you will find a list of available commissions. Below it, there are three lists that show currently available components. Components selected to the project and components required for the selected commission. To select or remove a component from the project, click on it with the left mouse button or drag it into the appropriate <sighs> slot. In order to confirm the creation of a new project, click on the large yellow button in the project information panel. To continue this tutorial, you'll need to create your first learning project. Okay, so you want me to. So, what one? I'm gonna do. Let's do this one. birthday is approaching the time to enter adulthood maybe it's a good moment to think about opportunities in a small party with your friends uh, who needs friends Yeah, it's been a day of my birthday alone. Pay attention to your character's energy. <coughs> As you can see, it changed its color after performing the previous actions. Every action in dev life costs a certain amount of energy. The light green color shows its current value. The darker green, the maximum amount, and black, the degree to which your employee is overworked. Available energy will regenerate until the limit is reached, while your employee is idle. The limit is calculated as the difference of the base value minus overwork. Overwork increases every time the energy level drops below 25%. To counteract this, give your employees some rest, or have them drink an energy drink to give them an energy boost. But be careful, do not overdo it. To reduce the overwork of your employees, you need to send them on vacation. You can do this by clicking on employee, 
Send on vacation in the workstation tracker and selecting the appropriate option. Each vacation lasts 30 seconds and depending on efficiency reduces the overwork by a certain amount while guaranteeing unique, random, interactive events. Overworked a lot, didn't I? Welcome to the Commission Search Panel. This is the place where your window to the world opens and where is your first chance to earn money. Before you can effectively create and publish your own projects, commissions will be your primary source of income. The search panel is divided into four main parts. In the first one, you will find criteria that are in the form of ranges. You can set both minimum and maximum value in them. After setting them up, selected parameters of commissions will be within the given limit. Below them, there are additional search criteria, including the most important one, only unlocked. As the name suggests, only components that can be completed at the given time will be allowed in the commissions. The whole game is balanced around this option and checking it only by itself should give you a good result. However, to maximize profits and minimize the risk of failure, it will be worthwhile to experiment with additional criteria. Until you create and upgrade your company, only one search criterion can be selected at the time. So we recommend that you select the only unlocked option. Panels on the upper right side of the window are used to select the required components that must be included in commissions. This option is also unlocked by company upgrades. Finally, we need to cover the parameters of the search itself. Cost, time and the number of searched commissions. Mm. The more money and time you spend on the search, the greater is chance to find commissions that will match selected criteria. Now you can search for maximum of two commissions, <coughs> but this number can be increased by the company upgrades. To summarize, Commissions will be one of your main sources of income, so it is worth experimenting with the search criteria in order to achieve the best results. However, if you don't want to risk and be entirely sure to find right commissions, you can always check the only unlocked option by itself. I got to, it's just gonna be Okay, so we've got two commissions. We've got a commission from uh, OLA. So you just refuse to do it. Oh, I actually lost money on it? Ah, uh, this is fucking difficult now. I can take a loan out. <coughs> oh. 
I do that, just go straight down and... That's just 200. I actually need to learn it, but Let's get a housekeeper for four. Uh. Right, so basically it's more of a Practicing, uh, like just programming. <coughs> and yeah, but I thoroughly enjoy it. The game's fun. It has a nice, uh, unique art style to it. with this part-time job I'm also like making a little bit more money on the side <coughs> no that's the appearance no Lucky you have managed to get your financials in back to normal. You feel great relief and hope it will get better from now on and won't happen again. Uh, I mean, that's asking for a lot for that to not happen again. I'm just sitting here, racking up some money. I know you're unhappy. Yeah, I can't give you a a vacation. Oh, I can. Uh, take some time. <coughs> You've been taking some time off work recently. Uh, I'm gonna lose my job. 
that that that's a straight given that I'm going to take my. That is just a. Uh, there we go. Let's get myself happy again. Then we're gonna go back video course. Then we're gonna video that one. Right, I'm Founding a company, how we managed to meet all of the things required to start your own business. Uh, this will allow you to spend your way, your, uh, spread your wings in the industry, uh, find customer clients. Alright, oh, so it's just an email thing. That's oh, pretty good. Well, I don't like the problem. I changed settings. Yeah. Let's uh, do another video course. Let's do that one. Oh, did I not click on? Yeah, only ones that I can. Yeah, so. I was wondering why that was taking. We're gonna work. <coughs> Why have we not got a job? Okay, so we've got three skill points. That's uh, just a simple AI. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to
take that out. Go here. Uh, virtual Studios. Congratulations! You have successfully created your first company. This opens up a number of new opportunities for you. Let's start by discussing the company management panel. Here you will find basic information about your company, such as its name and level, or financial results from the last few months. On the right <coughs> side of the window, you will find a list of available company goals. For completing them, you will receive rewards, in the form of money and company upgrade points. You can spend these points in company upgrade trees on various upgrades that affect gameplay. Some of them provide additional modifiers, such as increased time to complete commissions or additional rewards, while others unlock new gameplay mechanics, such as medium commissions, automatic selection of components required in the commissions, or blocking the possibility of employees overworking themselves. While we are talking about employees, the most important thing unlocked by creating a company is the ability to hire them. You can do this from the employee search window. It works in a similar way as the commission search. Your task is to choose criteria in such a way to find the most suitable employees. At this stage, it is worth considering in what direction you want to develop your company. Do you want your future employees to duplicate your skills so that you can exchange work or do you want to choose a different skill set and work on completely different things at the same time? The choice is up to you. Keep in mind that some search parameters may be mutually exclusive and if you want to be sure about finding any employees, all you need to do is select the criterion that indicates their specialization. Okay. Um. Uh, manage employees, look for employees, and I want one that is good with, well, obviously all of these. I actually need a place for them to sit. Am I able to sell these?
freaking hell on that now. Oh, Hmm, it's a pretty good game. Yeah. That's a little bit. And that's pretty much the game, it's pretty fun for what it is. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. Really good game. Uh, I'll post a link, I'll have in the description a, uh, a link to the game on Steam. So, uh, do check it out uh, if you like it. And hey, pick it up. Uh, for Tweet at me, your companies, and I will. Well, I'll definitely have a look at your companies and that lot. Of course, of course, on the next one, I'll chat to you all later. Bye, bye, chat.